So I, so I call you. All right. You on live right now. You got something you want to say? You good. I got you. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon to everybody. We're here live on one of our sites. And we wanted to go ahead and take a look at what we've got going here. We're working on the driveway and a sidewalk for one of our custom homes. Again, we appreciate the support from everybody locally as also throughout the nation. We just jumped off of Instagram for a moment. We just wanted to share a few things. What we were doing, how we were doing, we hope that you're doing well. Here we have Bama Concrete. If you're in other parts of the nation, you see the football there. Every area has something about them that's unique and in Tuscaloosa. This is a concrete truck, but you see the football there. What does that tell you? They play some ball over here. Worldwide, they're known for that. Title Town, they've racked up a few of them, so that's that's how that goes. Uh, let's see here. So we've got uh again the driveway we're working on finishing up. We got about 35 yards of concrete here. And so we're getting that done. We'll work our way over to the sidewalk and some other details with this custom home. We won't do the full driveway. We'll stop it at the scene there and then pick it up later to finish the length and the depth. We got about 20 plus acres to see to keep out. That's certainly a safety thing for people to consider on these construction sites. There are quite a few things that have changed over the years. So we wanna make sure that everyone is giving attention to that and that will allow them to be safe not only, hey Brenda, that will allow them to not only be safe on our sites, but as well as others that they approach. There was a time where you could just walk on construction sites and everything was okay. But due to a variety of circumstances and things, no different than other laws, things change. And so we simply change with them. Uh, we see this online. Attention, please clean up after yourself. Your mom was right when she told you that. So just keep doing it. <laughs> your mom was right about most things. Or your dad or grandmother. Here's an office here. Here's our living area. We have this beautiful Chevron. The design was set in place by Black Sugar Designs. If you've had your home interior, exterior design on the home building restaurant space, whatever it is, if you're wanting to be on the cutting edge as it relates to design, that's what you should do. Now this custom home, there are a few details that the customer themselves added in there, but the shell and the gist of what we have here was done by Black Sugar Designs. Now, Berto, are you good? Woo you good? Uh, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, good. We're on live right now. All right. Thank you. So we here we have this beautiful pantry. This will allow them to have a wet bar. And your refrigerated space there. The AC has just come on, so it's going to be nice and cool. We love that here in the south. It's hot, but we like to be a cool space. All right, I know you're using the paper. Yeah, okay, be. good deal, good deal. Thank you for that. All right, so we're in the primary bedroom now and you see they've got this view over the backyard there. So that's gonna be nice. They'll have a poor deck there and concrete stairs that will come up. We need to get him some rebar there so he can begin to set that. So here's the master bath. We have the faucets and again, the mirrors. We shared a few of these things on Instagram, but we're sharing some to Facebook now. We have the gentleman's closet. Looks small. Is that right? That is right. It's a small closet. It's the gentleman, the his section of the closet. We have the water closet or the toilet room or whatever you may call it. And then we have a freestanding tub that we'll set up in a beautiful shower there. Take a look at all the niches there in the wall. And then we have the frosted glass window, which comes standard with your trip. So we have our faucet here again, with the his and her cabinet that splits there in the center. And then we finish up on that side. So let's go to some other parts of the house. You can see that the trim was done there, which will allow us to keep the walls protected. If we need to do a repair, it's not really a big deal. We'll finish the finished coat and then we'll do it once and not twice, which is my favorite thing. We're here in the garage. You see this pull down stair that is here and all the chaos that goes into finishing a home. There are a lot of things that you see on television that may not be quite so accurate, but this is what it looks like along the way. Almost like you're looking in, in the kitchen with the cook. So 
We've got the AC being set up. We got a little bit more decking to do up here. What we'll do is add that. It's not stock, but we will add it so the customer can have more storage area above the home. Don't we all love our storage? So we'll have that there for them. All right, I'm on the attic pull down. I am using the uh, three point technique and I'm not gonna fall down these stairs while I'm on live. How about that? Here are all the toilets. We'll get you a look at one of those. It's a little bit different from a standard toilet. You see this one's actually being finished as far as the driveway, if you count the doors. We on live again. Say something to the people. There you go. So we got some good guys working there, positive energy like we mentioned, we love that. We got a four car garage on this one, which will allow them opportunity to be able to park, have their guests in this 3,600 square foot home somewhere around there and things will be good. We're gonna go ahead and close this panel up. So in that way, it won't damage the door. So, ounce of prevention, pound of cure. So again, we're back in the kitchen. You see some of the things there. The guys like to have their drinks. We're gonna make sure that all of these sugary products are out of the way. No disrespect to them, but if it has sugar, it's gonna bring what? Ants, your mom told you to clean up. So we'll check that by the end of the day. Back to this, we have some bifold doors. We're all familiar with that. You have four go to one side, two go to the other, and so that's nice. And then we've got this nice stove, and some of you big time chefs are gonna be familiar with this one. Who's seen this one? Who's familiar with this stove? It's certainly gonna allow you to be able to have some very good gatherings and to be able to really cook up and do what's necessary to entertain your guests. So we've got it up here, brought it all the way from Florida, he made some great efforts to get it here, and that will allow him to be able to entertain here in his custom home. So let's step out on our back porch. We're in the South here, so let's not get it twisted up. You've got to have a good porch. We all know that. Here we see the lumber at the very top. This is provided by 84 Lumber, some nice tongue and groove. We'll have some stain done on that. We have this uh, ceiling fan. What's up, LaRodrick? Uh, good to see everybody on. Thank you for tuning in. We have our, our iron railing here, which will allow opportunity for safety. It's built, it's built to code. We really appreciate working with Tuscaloosa inspectors so we can have a good safe product along with the quality that we provide. We've got cedar that will go through. We have the, the cross there, which will add a measure of support and a large measure of beauty. We have that there. And again, it's quiet. We're in the city. There are not a lot of places where you can get this many acres and have a level of seclusion to where you're able to enjoy this porch. We're in September, so you can imagine it feels like you're in the 70s out here. You have a nice breeze and you can just hear nature. At some point, you're going to see deer come up here and so it'll be nice. But to have your ceiling fan there, your area to where you can grill, entertain, have people over, They've got a spot for the television. The homeowner wanted to be on this side so he could watch. So he's probably going to watch him a few games and some entertainment. He's going to have a sound system inside and outside. And so we have a rough in and set up for that. What are some things that you're doing on your home and that you're wanting to do? Feel free to share that with us and the opportunities that we have to be able to assist you. Please let us know. Here we have a deck that will be poured. It won't be poured today, but it will be a deck and concrete stairs. It will be trimmed in. The uh, similar brick that we have there provided by Acme Brick. They've done a wonderful job with working with us over the years. And so we appreciate the opportunity to work with them as well. Now, this site where we're building this one, we're working to a close. We're going to get some zoysia grass on this one. We'll have some seed out in the distance there that will allow them to fill in, but still have a good setup right next to the house. What's up, Big Miro? Then out in the distance there, we're going to do the uh, parents' home out there so the parents can be close by. Any opportunity you have to be near your parents, we, we certainly want to treasure them and show them appreciation as well. And this homeowner will be able to do that by having his home here. And then we'll build the parents' home out there in the distance. So they'll be close, but yet still have their own space. So again, this is our back porch. We wanted to cover that. We've got the beam that runs through down in the center and we will get it stained. I don't know if he's going to go with a walnut, a special... Uh, or something natural to be his call and he'll choose that soon. On our soffits and fascia, we'll have a color that will uh, go very well to match our windows. As we mentioned on the other videos and throughout this home, 
We have our design team, Black Sugar Designs. You can do construction, you can build, but at the same time, there's only so much everybody should be doing to provide the best service and the best quality and also your speed, your minds in so many different places. You can't do but so many things. And as it relates to design, we have ones who study those things and make sure we're on the cutting edge of design and something that will be affordable very tasteful and in style. One thing we've heard people discuss when they build new construction homes, I'm building this home, it's brand new, but I'm having to redesign it and remodel it a year or two later, and I just bought a new home. Really don't wanna do that. If you're going with good design, taste in the beginning, and things that are timeless or as close to it as can be, you won't have to do that when you've got a design team designing those things. So. Let's go ahead and go back in. Again, we appreciate you guys looking on the outside of the home. Let's go back on the inside and we'll discuss some things. Is that AC going? Good deal, we got it out. We love that. We appreciate that. Uh-huh. Yes. Perfect. Do your thing. You're the man. You're the man. So we appreciate that. All right, so we've got AC. It's getting ready to drop in here temperature wise. It's not hot, but it's just right, but we will get it in very good shape there. So we wanted to highlight another thing. On this floor, and this is RVP. You have LVP, LVT, you've got a wood, you've got so many different uh, combinations. This is RVP. It's a, a very thick floor, and so the surface will be durable for many years. So we look forward to that, all right? We've got one adjustment we're gonna make here. You notice the television is here, and it happens from time to time. It's not a big deal, but we've got a door that's going to swing out into that television. So we'll have that reset removed and it'll swing the way in which it should. So again, we just looked at a few of those details and that will allow us to be able to finish up strong and have the homeowner with a good experience. I wanna mention this also when we're considering some new construction things, there is no such thing as a perfect home, but you can have the highest level quality as possible. And when you have a builder that works for you, the idea is a person who will stand up behind what they say they will do. And that's important. So if there is something that is a miss, something that was overlooked or something that comes up later, they're out and they're able to see about it. This fireplace, and we featured it in a few of our homes, it's electric. It allows for details in color. It allows for details in heat options. And it's really a nice uh, feature there to sit at and view when you're entertaining. You sit around, you're able to benefit from the warmth. A lot of times you'll have oranges, blues, greens, and it's a beautiful thing to have that thing light up. I think on some of our other videos, we featured it. If you hadn't seen it, please go and take a look. And if someone has questions on how they can get one, we definitely can highlight that, but it's really nice to consider there. We've got a bedroom here, a nice hallway. That'll be a Jack and Jill scenario. And then we've got this front bedroom and a large closet for this child, which will be nice. That's a, that's a really good size closet. It doesn't show up well on the video in terms of the length, but that is a really nice closet and will allow opportunity for the child there to say, hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be here for a while with the closet like that. So again, we hope that they're able to enjoy that. We're back in the front near our foyer. Uh, for we didn't highlight the door there, but it's a, a uh, double door there to be staying, that would be nice. And they'll be able to enjoy that. That stain will match the uh, the trim that will be done with the cedar there. All right. And so again, we have the tongue and groove on the front porch, which will match to the back, same with the post. And that will allow it all to be uniform and that'll really make the eye pop to this particular area. So really nice. Again, we're, we're thankful for our design team doing what they've done as it relates to getting that all put in together. So again, we want to take some time and jump on Facebook and Instagram, talk about a few things that we have in this home, number one, and number two, to express our appreciation for the support that we've gotten over the years in line with our remodels, our bills, designs that we've done, and simply people that we've worked with. We still have Bama Concrete here on site. We'll go out the window there and take a look at them. Gonna wash out over here. He's good, he's gonna wash out over there. He's gonna clean out on the right side. He's good. Yeah, he's gonna clean out over there. 
All right, excuse me, sorry about that. But again, just having the opportunity to highlight our appreciation for those who have worked with us, uh, whether it be our plumbers, our electricians, our framers, insulation crews, our roofers, um, all of those that have done concrete, as you see them doing the seams there. That's gonna be a nice separation between all of those and I'll really divide those spaces. Some people choose to stamp, some people choose to do different patterns. Uh, you can do cuts in the driveway. We've done that on a few of those and people really love that. But again, going back to where we were as it relates to support and the love that we've seen, it's, it's really been excellent. Here in Alabama, other parts of the nation, Texas, uh, LA, uh, Baltimore, Rhode Island, Maryland, Florida, just to name a few places and other places throughout the world for that matter. Uh, 84 Lumber, we we'll appreciate the support that we've had from them uh, as it relates to uh, promoting what we've done and also supporting it. That, that's certainly a good company to work with and they've been great in terms of supplying uh, the material that we need. So again, we thank you for that. And for all who may have their opportunity be next, whether you're looking to build, remodel, or you're simply inspired by something that you saw, we can all go from one place, start in one place and finish in another. So if there's something that you're looking to do, if you're ready to do it, or you're wondering how to do it, reach out to us. Everyone has a start and a finish. Everyone has a start and, and a finish. So you have an opportunity to uh, get done whatever it is that you want to get done as it relates to having your home built, having a custom home built, or even uh, getting in the construction space. We love to be able to talk to people who are considering how they may be able to do it, from the construction worker all the way over to the investor. Whatever it is that we can assess with, allow us to be a resource and a tool for you to have discussions to begin that. Hard work, belief, perseverance. Those things can allow you to be able to meet that goal, whether it be providing for yourself or doing something else. All of those things uh, can be done. So, again, we appreciate all the support. William Green, a.k.a. May May, we appreciate you being on. Uh, Brenda McNeil, we appreciate you being on. Big Miro, we appreciate the support. The Roderick, we appreciate you uh, being on there. And those who may have tuned in earlier may tune in later. We thank you for your support and all that you've done. We hope that you're enjoying this uh Great Thursday. The weather is awesome where we are. We hope that everyone is enjoying it where they are. And uh, we just look forward to the next opportunity to get with you guys. So stay tuned. Keep in touch. And we'll talk soon.